This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. So today we are going to see this question like uh, this is a very important question from interview point of view in SAP security. What are customer tables? So before we go into that, you need to understand. So you all know in the previous session we discussed about SU22. OK, and there is another T code SU24. So the data of SU22 is stored in two tables. So I can say USOBT and USOBX. Whereas for SU24, the tables are a bit different but look similar. USOBT underscore C, same table, just underscore C, you get it. USOBX underscore C. So these two tables are generally referred as customer tables. Okay, so when the interview in interview, they ask you what are customer tables. So you have to refer to these two tables US for BT underscore C and UX for US for BX underscore C. So let us look into the data now. Pretty much both of the tables, the, the tables related to SU22 and SU24 remain same until unless you do some modification or customization in SU24. So let us look into the tables. So first I'm going to US OBT. Let us take a pick up a T code for SU01. Yeah, so you can see what does this table contain? And when I enter the T code for that particular T code, what are the authorization objects related to that? What are the field values in each authorization object? And what exactly is the field value? So it contains, I can say in short, what does this table contain? USO BT contains authorization values related to a particular T code. Okay. You can keep any T code and you can search. You can get the values. These are SAP predefined values because it is USO BT. If you go to USO BT underscore C, you get standard as well as customized values, but pretty much the same. Now let us go to the other table. US for BT underscore X, BX, sorry, US for BX. Looking for the same T code again, SU01, and execute. So here you are not getting the values of for su01 i get the list of authorization objects but i am not getting the values of it instead i am getting only this ok flag this is nothing but the check indicator if you observe correctly here you have a cross mark and then i have a y mark here y indicates yes cross indicates no so this is nothing but the proposal so this is a check indicators and proposals of the t code okay so what I want to come back, man. So US for BT contains authorization values of a T code related to a T code. When what does US for BX contains? It contains check indicators. Check indicators of a T code related to a T code, and you can also the same thing. If you if you go to these two tables, US for BX underscore C, it also looks similar, unless and until if you do any change for SU01. So you can see the check indicators are there, and you can filter by yes. You can know you can check by flag. I can keep it yes here. Yep. So these are the values that are checked and it even has a values also. And what values of these particular objects you will get it in the other T code. So other table. 
so here exactly you get it underscore c so you get the values here for those authorization objects what are the fields and authorization values okay so this is what you have to very important from interview point of view so you have to focus on this particular t codes su22 what are the tables related to it and what are the tables related to su24 so they can the question can come up in any way they can just ask you what are customer tables so the answer is us for bt underscore c us for bx underscore c and what exactly do they contain bt contains authorization values whether this customized or this one and bx contains check indicators okay this is very very important question from interview point of view right thanks everyone see you in next session